Are you ready? It's already going. No. Hello, welcome to Straw Family Farm. I'm Christy. I'm not ready. Okay, not ready. Um. All right, let's get right on into it. In the chapel. You know the Bible verse? I'm not ready. I can't speak early yet. I have to get ready. Okay. Get ready. So that your merciful deeds may be in secret. Then your father who sees in secret will reward you openly. That is Matthew 6, 4. And why are we talking about giving? Hmm? Oops, I just closed the other one. Oh, I gotta shut myself in the mirror. You're ready. Okay, thank you. So, all right. That was in the chapel. And why are we talking about giving? Because this week we are what? I don't have my strawberries here. I'm good. <laughs> Why are we talking about giving? Not ready. Oh, yes. Thank you for the strawberries. They're great. Thank you. Why are we talking about giving? Well, because you gave me these strawberries, which is a really, really nice gesture. Son. Thank you so much. Son. This is going to take forever to do if you keep this up. I'm we really are even do. two seconds in. Actually, we're a minute and 30 seconds in. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Oops. And now our thing is, I don't know why it's doing that. It's a little clicky today. Well, it just now started. Okay, so why are we doing that? It'll stop eventually. Because if you keep watching, you're going to get in on the giveaway, right? Mm -hmm. And it's all about giving this week. So, I'm going to give you a hug. Oh, yeah, get off of me. I know you. <laughs> no, you're not. Get off of me. <laughs> Good Lord Almighty, I've been attacked. <laughs> I was thinking, you know. I should have went ahead and done it before I said it, though. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so in the barn stalls. So last week we covered a lot of the animals, and I pointed out to RJ that we forgot one. Um, and it changed this week, so... <laughs> we got a special guest moose today. He's happy to be with us. He wave at us, everybody. Wave, wave. He's always happy. He's always happy to be here, folks. Yes, he is. As long as he's not biting anybody, <laughs> we're happy. He needs a bath. Though. Yes, he does. He's stinky. Well, he was out playing with the big dogs. And the big dogs roll in. Yeah, so. You stink. You're smelling, right. Mayla. Moose, that's enough. You started it. Okay, so when we it's... were starting out and recapping last week, we did not mention the what? You had to go oh. pick up something oh, to put. Oh, penny pen. Yeah, we forgot to mention Miss that Penny. Charlotte and Buttercup are still here. Uh -huh. Correct? Miss Piggy. And now. Miss Piggy. <laughs> Yeah, Miss Piggy is here, too. He's got strawberry. I bought him some frozen yeah. strawberries. It's frozen, so you can't really chew it up. You're just stuck with it. <laughs> Until it thaws out. Then you can eat it. All right, so you, this lady stopped by, right? And she's I wasn't here for this part. And she was a local lady, and mm -hmm. she, my hair is going everywhere. Um, and she I asked you, if we still, she noticed that we were downsizing. She says, are you still taking rescues? And I said, yes. She said, well, my sister got a pig and it was in town and it kept getting out of their backyard. Now it's out at my house and I can't contain it either. Would you want it? I said, I'll take your number and have RJ call you because RJ now manages the farm, right? I work away from home. How'd that go, RJ? You oh, called her. Piggy. You called her and what happened? She said, I could come get the piggy. Okay, that's not exactly how it went, but... Well, I asked her about this pig. I was like, well, what kind of pig is this? She said, it's popped by the pig. I asked her. It's a female. I said, is it male or female? She said, it's a female. She's really sweet. She likes dog food. Um, she keeps getting out, though. And I just chase her in the little dog house. And then uh, when I chase her in the little dog house, she'll stay in there for a while. And she gets out and she runs around. So I go chase her back in the little dog house. Like, oh, Okay. So this old lady's out chasing this pig around just to keep it where it's supposed to go. Yeah. Well, she failed to mention this doghouse is one of those little igloo doghouses. It's like literally the pig could like turn around. I mean, it was a, it was a little house. Yeah. So she just anyway. like stay in there, I guess. I'm not sure. Okay, so you go to get the pig. Yes. And was the pig in the little doghouse? Well, she was for a second. <laughs> <laughs> and then she got wind of the idea that she was going to leave. And she was no longer in the little doghouse. So how did you get her? I got my little lasso out. I got my pig lasso. And I kind of walked around and I got kind of close to her. 
And then I built me a loop and I just roped her. <laughs> yep. Put her in the one horse trailer, brought her here. Yep. And put her out with Charlotte. Now we have noticed that our maybe it's us, but our pot bellied pigs have bigger bellies, don't they? Mm-hmm. You can kind of see her ribs a little bit. And she's not as shiny as ours are. Yep. Correct. But she so, has been living on dogs. I mean, food. she has been living it's on dogs. It's a miracle she food. doesn't bark. <laughs> so, um, but she does like food. She, it, it took her a little bit. She, has she figured out the pumpkin yet, or does she just still still steal Buttercups and Charlotte's? They named her Miss Piggy, not us. Um, but it was pumpkin day, so of course this is in the barn stalls too. We went and picked up the pumpkins, and there was a lot of them this year again. So we've got a big pile out here. The goats keep getting into them. Uh, and we're feeding the sheep and the goats them. Have you fed any to the cattle or the horses yet? Well, I, I haul some over to the pigs. And they had these little ones. And Charlotte and Buttercup would pick them up and carry them in their mouth. And all I could think of was those pigs that you see with the apple in their mouth. <laughs> Here they are walking around a little pumpkin in their mouth. It was funny. But Miss Piggy would only steal after they were broke open. She she didn't, like, break get out. her own. And there was plenty out there. She'd just sniff them, walk past, and then go break them open. So, or go steal the ones that the others broke open. So I don't know that she's figuring it out, but I think she'll get it over time, don't you? She's a smart pig. She is. Eh, well, yeah, she stays in. Mm-hmm. But if you know anybody who wants... A pig. I really don't want Miss Buttercup to go anywhere. She's my first love. But if we can rehome some of these, we don't need a whole herd of pigs, do we? We can get a boy and we can have no. more. No. No. Unless it's a full size pig. No. Barn pig? I'll do pigs. No. Can't breed a big pig to a little pig. Yes, you can. Not good on the little pig. Not good on the little pig, but that's not what I said. <laughs> I said you can. Anyway, but we're not doing that. We're not doing baby pigs. Not baby pot pigs. Okay, these girls have been through enough. Everybody gets them and thinks they make the greatest dogs. Teacup pig farm, folks. Yep. We will set you up with all the females you want. Um, we'll but no, we we'll don't. Set you up with two. I do, um, back when RJ was little, the first animals that we had here were pigs. Um, I had a little chocolate dude, what, what was his name? I had him named, and they actually knew how to sit, they knew how to do stuff, they would bark when you told them to, they... <laughs> thought they were dogs. They did, they really did. So, but they were my babies, huh? Yep. Anyway, and I actually cried because I had to get rid of them to make room for RJ's goats. That was the pen he was using for the goats, huh, son? Mm-hmm. And I cried. So, they were my babies. Back before we had all the pens. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Back before we built pens and fenced off pasture. And mm-hmm. Anyway, so, back to this. So, what else happened in the barn stalls with Miss Star since oh. our last um, podcast? What did you do that I told you should have happened here at the house? And no, you went to a rodeo and did it. And I went to a rope and I roped on her. She's never been roped off before. He'd ride her around and he'd swing a rope and stuff, but she had no idea what he expected of her. He entered her in a roping and... I won something. He won money. Mm-hmm. So not only was it her first roping, it was her first roping run ever, and he won money on her. She was just a winner. She's a winner, winner. Right? Chicken dinner. Just don't eat chicken before you're out. Yeah. So, anyway, that happened, right? (laughs) Anything else? The baby calves are all doing pretty good. We are going to take Matthew and Layton and put them in a breeding pen today because they're on my last nerve. Right? Do not pluck my hair. Come on. (laughs) Let me pluck Mm. your face here. I just Quit. want one. I just no. want one. I just want one. No, I want all my hair. Mm-hmm. Stop it. You keep doing that, one's going to fall out anyways. You keep doing that, one's going to fall out Set. anyways. <laughs> <laughs> I 
<laughs> I'm taking his strawberries. He's trying to pluck my hair, and I take his strawberries anytime. Anyway, so. All right. Anything else that went on in the barn stalls? Well, just clip one there. Yeah, there. No. <sighs> so. Winner, winner, <laughs> winner, winner. See, yes, look, I am just... a winner. Thank you. Do not write on me in pink. Not, All right. Awesome. You're being annoying. Let's get through this. Come on. It didn't Ten minutes you, and all we've talked about is in the barn stalls. It didn't write on you, though. Does it write Stop on it. people? Does it really write on people? I don't know. Yes, it does. Still, I got half a smiley <laughs> face. I just need the dots. I'm going to get the dots. There, I have the dots, but do not write on me. Um, all right, what's after in the barn stalls? Mending fences. What is our big problem right now? Let's see, folks, look at that boat while we're driving. What is our biggest problem right now? I pulled People up today, to and what is out in the driveway? Wait, let me put a smiley face on your hand. What's out in the driveway? We should do it like this where you could talk. What is out in the driveway when I pulled up today? Huh? The goat. We have some holes in the fence. Um, you're getting some pallets so I can redo the fence mm -hmm. in the um, in the garden. Yes, the garden. We're gonna redo the fence in the garden. I used to do this with him when he was little. Mm, smile. Please. <laughs> anyway, so um, we're going to redo the fence in the garden with wooden pallets because I'm going to put the dogs out there and then I'm going to take the woven wire from there and repair the two spots the goats have tore up. Correct. Yes, we are. So, all right, anything else in mending fences? What else did you have to fix? Did you have to fix anything else? Uh-huh, uh-huh. What? That one thing. What did you have to fix? What? I fixed our sprinkler system. It got broken last night and made a big old mess. We don't have a sprinkler system. I know. That's what I meant. Fixed it in your dreams, didn't you? Yeah. Oh, well, you fixed dinner, lunch, whatever mm -hmm. it was. All right. In the yarn farm. Here's where we're going to do our little thing, right? Oh, I forgot that. Oh, this is where the fiber. talent show is? Okay, I have a talent. No, I need that fiber. Let I me out. I can play a trombone. You cannot play a trombone. Here. Okay, you take care of this. Let me out because I've got to go get something for the next segment. Come. What am I doing? You can explain the giveaway. You know all about that, right? In the yarn farm. In the yarn farm, folks. We are giving away. We are giving, 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 giving away this book. This lovely book. And this tiny yarn. Darn, harn, rarn. It's just yarn farm. Darn, tarn. I'm a terrible rhymer. Heimer, Beimer. Why are you rhyming? Because I'm a terrible rhymer. Okay, so why are you rhyming? Okay. Alright, so in the yarn farm. I'm killing time for you to come back. <laughs> Alright, like we said last week, to get the podcast up and going again. I'm fine, I'm fine. We got the finish up. Wait, can I get my voice back? Okay. Um, so we got the book, and we got this yarn farm, yes. farm, book, cook, book. book. Okay, stop and let's get on with it. So, this book. Is. Stop it. All right. So to get the podcast going, we're gonna start it off, you know, with the giveaway, right? And we attempted this giveaway last, what, last year? No, just a couple of months ago. And nobody claimed it. Nobody claimed it. Nobody claimed it. So we're going to attempt it again. And if it doesn't get claimed, I'm gonna do it myself. So the thing that we're giving away is just like you, little lamb. And it's written and autographed by Melissa Delkey. And in the back of this book is an actual pattern that she wrote for the little lamb that's featured in the book. We're not going to give... I need to find a good picture of it, huh? Um, okay, so this is the it's little lamb. It's a great story. And our thing is froze up, so we have no idea what you're seeing. But I hope you can see that little lamb right there. 
And oh, it's called Just it Like You, froze. Little Lamb. Yeah. And we have... Stop. Stop. I haven't moved. I know. You're still stuck like that. We have 385 yards of wool, hand-spun wool, from here on the farm, and dyed a light look pink my, because I thought it would be eye. cute. I know. You're Come. just a dork. Um, so these are the things being given away. Now, how, how are they going to win these? Do not do the mirror in the thing. How do they stop it? That because you can't see, you're glaring it in their eyes. If you're blinding all of our watchers, you're in trouble. It's not as much to watch anyway. Okay, folks. so how do they win? How do they enter to win that? You gotta give my mom a big old hug. No, you don't. And then come bake Christmas cookies with me. No, Anybody but don't. me. Anybody but me. Please, not me. <laughs> not me. <laughs> I'm giving away. All right. So well, every for all you year, folks that don't have a mom handy, just come take mine for the day, please. Please. <laughs> that is not please. How. Okay, please. so every Christmas we do a project. I'm begging you. I'm hey, begging. Quit. I'm begging them, please. Come on, my what knees. kind of projects do we do? Name some of the projects that we've done in the past. Chocolate chip. Oh, yeah. Gingerbread. No. What kind of projects do we do at Christmas? We don't do Christmas traditionally. Uh, we, I'm unfroze. This is awesome. We exchange gift. We each get a gift. Um, your sister, your dad, me, you, and we exchange gifts. And uh, that's oh, it. We don't now I can see stop. We don't um, participate really in commercial Christmas. We love Christmas. Don't get me wrong. The house is always decorated, all that stuff. But we have a different way of celebrating it. We go to um, Klingelmachs and um, all that fun stuff. We have some traditions we do. But we pick one project, and it's kind of our over-the-top thing. One year, RJ actually got an accommodation for his Christmas project where he sent 80-some stockings full of candies and hot chocolates and all this overseas to the men and women of the armed forces that were stationed over there. And I want to say they were in Iraq at the time. We, we had a friend that was over there, and, and we sent him. Because you actually have to have a, a person to send it to. So we sent 80 some stockings, we got churches involved, did all this, and then um, paid the postage. People donated some to the postage, but for the most part we paid a lot of the postage. Um, but people donated items from all over the community, and we shipped it over to them, and then they had, we had some games in there for them to play so that they could kind of just have a Christmas party, and they had 80 stocking, Christmas stockings to give away. So, um, yeah, that whole unit got together and that's my good pen and you're getting boogers on it. Um <laughs> let's do a little note. <laughs> no, will you stop it? Well we'll get a real Wait. boogery. If you don't like boogers, we'll just get a real boogery. Um so anyway that was one thing that we did and he was what, fifteen when we did that one? Um we have Boy well these glasses put baskets. are terrible. I can't see. So my contact else. lens case um, we have Which picked a family and provided them with dinner, right? Took a ham, turkey, all that kind of stuff. We have, see, now stop. That's what oh, you're going to get. Where it I've was. said it three times. Stop it. And we have no idea. If RJ did that to you, I'm sorry. He's not. <laughs> he just figured it out. He's like, oh, shoot. It's awesome. <laughs> no, you're not blinding people. Um, so anyway, we need to know what our Christmas, um, project is going to be this year. We... There was one year we went to the shelter and gave everybody the day off at the shelter, and our family went in and took care of all the animals and that. Um, what else have we done? We've done all kinds of stuff. Just all kinds of weird stuff. So, in the spirit of giving, we want you to make a suggestion. A, a well thought out, please don't make a suggestion like go skydiving or something stupid. We're not doing that for Christmas. Um, and no, we're not eating pizza. We're not going to a movie. We want we to. Go skydiving. It's something to fun. give back, okay? We should go skydiving, Mom. That no, would be I'm fun. not skydiving. Why not? Because it's hard on your knees when you land. We'll just land flat. On my butt, right? Yep. Right on it. No. You're too chicken to skydive. I'd jump. No, you wouldn't. <laughs> Somebody no, could shove wouldn't. me, though. Somebody shove you, huh? She's been found. Yeah, but I'm on call, so I don't know. Oh, and I gotta take this, so keep talking. Oh, I gotta keep Hello. talking. Well, folks, I'm pretty good at talking. But, staying on task, I'm not. Okay.
Alright, so what did they say? So, the I'm not sure, but. It was the lady. She just started up there. Yep. I can't remember. Do better, do better. Yes. You could probably fast forward a little bit. Crop this part segment out. Mm -hmm. Oh, cool. Oh. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna live forever. I'm full of lifesavers. They yeah. saved my life. So they saved my life. That? Oh, hey, there's one of these left from last time. You guys remember these? I had a whole bag of them. I don't know what happened. This is the one Mom wouldn't eat. Okay. I wonder if this stuff really does and last forever. That, right? Wow. It'll go back on the desk. It can become a paperweight. All right, so just leave that paper there on the desk. If you want to try mm -hmm. to put stuff in. What else do we have here? Oh. Okay. Vinny's jaws. Whoops. I tried to throw it back in the bag and I missed. Okay. It's back in the bag. No, not new. Um, what else we got? Oh, Christmas items. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm supposed to get back on task here. Alright, let's see. Okay. We can use all kinds of ideas. I might go skydiving. That sounds fun. I'm terrified of heights, though. So that's probably not a good idea. Um,. Just anything, folks. I mean, anything, yeah. anything out there. Anything. Oh, we could go visit okay, Planet Mars. Christmas. That'd be cool. Did she say um, that they're gonna we could go, go see aliens. We could go to the moon. Yeah, that, those kind of ideas. Mom doesn't like. But I do. I, I like those ideas. Um, so, if you guys think something like, um, y'all feed the homeless or something. I mean, okay. like, not too cliche. Who is she but, um, information. Is she going to call Danny? But, um, so let's see here. Like, okay, yeah, don't go too cliche on me here. Uh, I'm, yeah. I'm not a cliche That's kind of person. That's who she's supposed to call, yes. Uh, yeah. So, because if they call but I'm not sure, folks. This is why it's a contest. Okay. You guys just comment right, away and tell you. us what you think, okay? Right, bye. Thank you for your time, folks. Because, and anybody that's been watching, you can fast forward from, like, minute 20 to minute 22 <laughs> something, like right now. And, Hello. Uh, okay, I'm back. That was work. That out. I'm on call. You can fast forward until I come back. Yeah, yeah, it would save everybody. But they've whole... already just done that. <laughs> they've watched oh, no, it. I now told you're them saying to fast, fast forward. forward. I told them at the beginning to fast forward through that. Oh, okay. All right. So anyway, we do need ideas for Christmas this year. So if you have any amazing ideas of what we can do to give back to our community, um, we would love to hear it, wouldn't we? Mm -hmm. So comment below and let us know. And that'll enter your name in the drawing. Any of them ideas I gave, you can use those too. I didn't hear any of the ideas you gave, so. It's good. That's why they can use those, because you didn't get hear them, so you couldn't say no. No. Anything he came up with that said that involves Mama baking cookies and him eating them and him not helping. Uh uh. Or if it's him not going to Chris Klingelmacht. Mm -mm. I didn't use any of those. I can't put new one. Okay, anything within reason, please. Make it within reason. So, all right. Moving all on. Mine. Moving on. All right, so in the garden, I haven't even been out to the garden, have I? I started to mow and get stuff done, and then the weather changed, and it's cold, rainy, wet, nasty. Can't get down there without muck boots, so. Really? I hadn't noticed. Pretty much. My toes are gone, though. They just froze off and ran off and left me. They said they'd see me in Cancun. <laughs> anyway, so, um, I haven't been down the garden. It is what it is. So, what else we got going on? Um, what's the next thing? In the farmhouse, I think. Yeah. Yep. It's cold. Oh, it froze up again. You froze up again. You froze it up. Good Lord. Okay, so, what's going on in your life? You went roping, right? They can't see me. Oh, they can see me now. <laughs> Um, what have you been doing online and in little magazines? Nothing. He's been shopping. Christmas shopping. Yeah, you have. No, I haven't. You're not buying... Nope, not buying anything for Christmas. Changed my mind. You have to buy one of the family members. It's not about changing your mind. Huh, I'm not buying anybody. You're shopping for me. Not buying anybody anything for Christmas. Why not? 
I don't know. I made up my mind. Anyway, so he's been shopping. He says he's not, but he has been. And he's trying to do it on his own this year. So maybe I don't have to shop for his gift to be given away, right? No. I can still use your checkbook, right? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Uh, then, 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 no, I'm not shopping. Let me he add, shopping. It's October, guys, and you better mark your calendars because he's actually been Christmas looking. He hasn't been shopping. He's kind of been Christmas looking. But I think it's because he wants a certain something for Christmas. What is it that you told me you wanted me to get you? Or to ensure that whoever gets your name gets you? I want my Under Armour pants. Yep. He wants Under Armour pants. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm going to take, and I'm going to take some underwear. And I'm going to draw armor on it with fabric paint. <laughs> and I'm going to say, look, it's underwear. Hey, Mom. <laughs> okay, so that would be really funny if any of y'all know who Captain Underpants is. RJ used to love Captain Underpants. Now it's Under Armour Pants. <laughs> and yes, I think I'm funny. Am I funny, son? No, you're not. You're worse than I am. <laughs> Yeah, at least I get some laughs. You, you just made. <laughs> Under Armour pants is funny. Okay, so explain really what you want. I want like these little shirts here, folks. The, they're Under Armour's a brand name. Yeah, yeah. And they have like some thermal type pants. These kind of shirts. And those shirts keep him warm at the top, but they don't at the bottom, and so. But they only go to my belt, folks. But he really. It's a little drafty from there down. <laughs> <laughs> the next so. 36 inches is kind of chilly. So he wants Billy. Under Armour pants, and I don't Billy. think he wants just really Under Armour. Billy. So Billy. What else have you been doing? Roping, Billy. Right. We can go to Philly. We can go to you Philly. You went to Texas, did you not? Yep. And what did you do in Texas? Uh, I tried to rope. Okay. Didn't get it I done. I roped really good, but I did not win anything. Okay. A couple so. claps. That's all I got. Just a couple claps. Okay, so while he was in Texas, I actually had some time to myself. I went ice skating, and then I was already in Tulsa. What is this time to yourself so, you speak of? You should never have that. I will keep you close. <laughs> Get off of me. <laughs> Let's get a hair. Look. No, quit it. Get off of me, Brett. Okay, so we just need a hair. I'm reaching we just over. Need one hair. What do you need a hair for? In case you turn up missing, so we have something in DNA test. You do hair doesn't have DNA in it. The follicle that the hair is in, or the shaft the hair is in, has it. Okay, so let's just pluck it out of the root. Let's no! See. Get off of me! <sighs> Stop it! I had time to myself without any of this hot mess. Yeah, look at me, folks. I'm a hot mess. <laughs> I don't know what that is, but I want to be one. <laughs> So, without this hot mess, I went to um, Get Stitching, which is a store in Tulsa. And I have a friend there, um, Jane, Angora Jane. And she had some fibers on sale, and Kate and them had some fibers on sale. And Anyway, so while I was there, I picked up this lovely fiber. And it is 30% alpaca. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Shh. It's I don't 70. need hairy strawberries. It's going to be hairy in a minute. <laughs> 70% alpaca, 30% wool, and it's four ounces. What you, oh, okay, stop. What do you think? Soft? Oh, Yucky? What? Know. That's nice. Yep. So it's like a it little is, cloud. That's it what is. I, it's, and it's actually next to skin soft. It's super soft. It's got alpaca in it. And then this. Stop. Nobody wants to hear that. Nobody wants to hear you talk about this thing that's boring. All right, so comment below if you think the fiber part is boring, and we'll just take it out, RJ. Okay, hey, so then awesome. um, Kate Louder. I didn't buy anything commercial. I bought from Independence. So, and yes, I was at a commercial shop, and she had a bunch of commercial yarn and all this. But I bought fiber number one, and number two, I bought um, small farms. I don't buy big industrial stuff. Okay, so this is Rambolay Glitz Alpaca and Sparkle. And I will tell you right now, the Ramberlay, you can definitely tell it. there's more wool in this. And it's not as soft as that. It is soft, next to skin soft, 
but I think I'm going to spin them together. Yes, I am going to actually hold both at the same time and spin them together like so when I'm spinning so that I have some of the Ramberlay and some of this. I don't want to tear it all apart and cart it together, but I want it together. And then I'm going to... Girl, uh, yeah, well, I don't want it barber pulled either. I don't like that barber pulled look. I don't like the pool of how barber pulled looks. So if you don't know fiber, barber pull is when you spin the brown and then you spin the white and then you spin them together and they look like a barber pole. Well, that's great and dandy. Then when you crochet it up, it doesn't have any kind of rhyme or reason with the pattern. And it doesn't always pull real nice. It, it just is a barber pole. It looks like flex everywhere, white and brown. And it's very, I don't know, some people like You're that rational. look. Irrational. People, some people like the look. I don't. And so I think I want to do these together and I'm just going to hold them together and, yep. And how it pulls, it pulls. And I'm going to make winter stuff out of it. Just saying. Hats, scarves. It's not scarves. like you're going to make summer stuff out of it. Actually, I could. Like that uh, camel one that I did. So anyway, I finished spinning everything that was on my wheels, except for the camel, because I really love the camel and I don't want to rush that. So I have some camel that I have not spun, and then I have this stuff that I haven't spun. Um, in the meantime, I did not make my stuff out of this. I changed my mind. <laughs> Who knew, right? Go figure. Mm -hmm. So I made fingerless mitts. Out of my pink. Simple to do. Um, I did 24 around and I knitted them from the top down. 24 around, sing, uh, one row of single crochet, three rows of double crochets in the round, knitted or crocheted 10, chained four, did 10. It comes to 24, you know, because I started with 24. And then I have a short row right here the chain and then went back to and then it's just the same all down. I decreased a little bit for my um, wrist and then went right back. I think it decreased down to like 22 and then went right back up to 24. So and I, I just did that by um, taking one out and putting it in. What? I have a question, Mom. Okay, what? Why? Why did you make them with a hole in them? For my They're thumb. supposed to get holes in them, not make holes in them. I made a hole in them for my thumb. Huh. And these are for ice skating so that I can use my no, no, no. fingers. And gloves do not start with holes in them. They start one solid piece. These aren't gloves. They're mittens. Then as you use them, they They're hold. mittens. Mittens aren't supposed to have holes in them either. I've seen They're the fingerless mittens. mittens. You got too many holes. <laughs> too many holes. Oh. Yep. So it was just pretty simple. Did it in the round. Didn't even take time to really... I just, and I came up with 24 by simply chaining and putting it around my hand. <laughs> so 24, did that, and then like I said, oh, and when I finished, I did do a row of single crochet to finish it off so that it matches this one up here. Mm. So, yeah, and I think, all right, so there was, how many rows total? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 25. 15 rows. Plus the 32. singles. They knit that like each, this took less than an hour. <laughs> the whole thing took less than an hour. I just Ten. whipped them babies out and was done. Um, and then I'm going to do a hat. And yes, I'm cheating because I uh, looked online and I read that a hat is like 71. nine and a hat. Oh, I'm, un, I'm uncrocheting. Oh my God. 85. Will you stop it? I'm trying to mess so up your I think, yeah. Oh, I'm not counting. Nine and a half inches because I want to cuff, you know. So I read it was like nine and a half inches for quit for a hat. And I'm just going to make a big square and then I'm going to gather it all up here, stitch it together. Yeah, that's it. And I'm going to put a pom pom on it. And then I'm going to roll it up like this. I want a pom pom. <laughs> I want a pom pom. <laughs> Oh, this is cool. This is a pom-pom. Oh, this is kind of hard for a pom-pom. 
It's a moving pom pom. It is. It's a pom pom under somebody else's You're control. You're supposed to be nice, Mister. You're supposed to be nice. Yes, you are. Why? He's talking to the hand again. You're supposed to be nice. You're supposed to be a pom pom. You're supposed to be nice. You're supposed to be a pom pom. Okay, a pom pom is not. We used to talk to the hand. Um, mom be like, talk to the hand. I'm busy. Was, no, when you were in the hospital. He'd talk to him, and I'd make an Elmo voice. This was Elmo. Yep. I liked Elmo. It was when he was little. He'd actually get upset. I still like Elmo. And he'd get upset and tell me, I need to talk to Elmo. <laughs> <laughs> he was like three. Hey, Mom, I really just need to talk to Elmo. So I'd talk in my Elmo voice, and I don't know if it really sounds like Elmo or not, but... I think it does. <laughs> like, it's still to this day, it sounds like Elmo. I'm a red-headed Elmo. We just gotta fix all Elmo. Of this. Elmo! I don't look like Elmo, do I? That'll be sound like. I don't even think I sound like Elmo. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> when he was little, and he'd, he'd get upset and just, he, he actually would take my face and go, I just need to talk to Elmo. <laughs> Now we're telling all your stories, huh? Oh, yes. Anyway, so I'm making a hat. I'm just going to put a pom-pom on it. Make a, a square. That always happens when you it. get famous. Rib it. Just twist. Turn it up. And then it's going to be my pom-pom hat. I always want and to be so famous. I will make probably me. a scarf because I have quite a bit of this. So I will probably make a scarf or a head wrap. I'll just make a whole set. And then I can wear whatever. So, All right, let's see if I take this one too. Yep. Keep going, friend. Huh? Alright, folks. Back to the good action oh, here. Lot, Let's see here. Oh, hey, we got Mom's cellular device. Just oh, that's a cool picture. Okay. Alright. Just so you so can see. You you We've been working at this for a while. Go to a different doctor, huh? Yep. Well, we oh, I found the water bill. Don't worry about it, right? I don't know what this is, but I found a pepper towel. We were talking about Elmo and, and, and Elmo's fiber, and I'm not very good at that. Because I don't know what she was doing yet. Well, I normally don't know what she's doing. I stay confused in that subject. Are you going bowling tomorrow, too? Oh, I got my drink, though. I like this cup. I have four of these cups. I have okay. <coughs> yellow, a green, a pink. Maybe I'll have three. We may just have three. I have this blue cup. It's pretty cool. I was drinking out of it the other day and I left it here. But it's cool. It's a pineapple, folks. I like it. Um, but, oh, mom's coming back. Mom's coming back. I'm scared. To leave him at this podcast a lot. You know that, right? Oh, I noticed. Yeah. I keep the conversation interesting. Uh, please take everything he says with a grain of salt. No, 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 no. Take it with a grain of sugar because it's always so sweet. Mm -hmm. No, he's not. Okay, so where were we? In the farmhouse, um, we talked about... I was talking about cups. Like, like I like this one better than I like um, this one. Oh, my. But this one holds more. So I'm, yeah, Were I'm, you really talking about that? You're boring, dude. <laughs> okay, so, anyway. What can I say? We've talked about the I'm yarn giveaway. I'm just glad I'm a likable guy. About, we've talked about the things I'm working on. You really haven't been doing much. Well, you're working for your uncle more, right? Mm -hmm. All right. Um, I was going to do a walk around on the farm and have some actual footage of the farm in this. But, son, what happened to our weather? It got cold. Hey. Cold and downpours of rain and to get out there I have to be in If muck you put boots. one finger on one side and I put one finger on the other side and we both lick like our fingers and stick them together, will it shock us? No. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? Because it's not conducting. But like a nine volt when you lick that thing, it No, you lick you. and conduct both of them. We'll the see. positive and negative is on the top, so when you stick it to your tongue. Yeah, it's, it's the same thing. Like, no, it's not. 
Because you can't get both ends of the battery in on your tongue at the same time. But even if my fingers are, I mean, my no, body's you're not, connected. You're not just, electrifying. Yeah. Now you dropped my battery. Yes, yes, I did. I'm not going to find it. I think it it's either. dead anyway. But Oh, it's okay. Moose will find it. <sighs> no, I'll pick it up later. All right. Anything else? Mm -hmm. I just patootie up here. I'm all up for you. As battery. long as he doesn't work. <laughs> I poked him with my crochet hook. Please, <laughs> quit, quit pushing me up. We'll get it later. Finish this podcast. My it. God. I dropped the battery. I got to find my battery. Okay, it's right here. <laughs> hey, don't you. That, that was a trick. That was a mean, dirty, rotten trick. That was a dirty, rotten trick. That was a dirty, rotten trick. <laughs> I'm going to hide back here where you can no longer get me. That was a rotten trick. That was a dirty rotten trick. <laughs> so, anybody that was doesn't know, trick. do I get to tell why you're upset? You can tell. But I'm staying over here. He is super ticklish on his neck. Uh, that's a dirty rotten trick. <laughs> dirty rotten trick. <laughs> like, every time he goes to the barber shop, when they go to Buzz, he goes like this. <laughs> It's a dirty rotten trick. You can't dirty handle person. it being touched there, huh? No. I can't take the pressure. Uh -uh. All right. Anything else? Well, we didn't get to talk much about my lifesavers. Who cares? Well, I got to talk about them a little bit while you were gone. Who cares? They do. The giveaway, the stuff going on on the farm, the weather is not great. I'm going to spin that up now that I've talked about it. Mm. The weather is terrible here. Yes. And it's only um, going to get worse. And we are blaming, what is it? I saw this thing on Global Facebook. No, we, we, what was it? You blame, now I'm actually one of these people, so he's blaming me and his sister. If you don't want snow in November, then don't put your Christmas, let decorate for Christmas, right? Yeah. But it was, it was kind of put cuter and funnier <laughs> than, you know. So, anyway, all right, we're off of here. Okay, I'm 42 off. minutes, you'll never get back of your life. <laughs> and most of it was this goofball. No, so. only 32 minutes of it was this goofball. It was about 10 minutes of it. Of actual rambling. information. That you rambling about nonsense nobody wants to hear. They hey, just came to see me. Sadly, that's probably true. Uh, we have more comments about this goofball than anything else. Hey, Unless we say? put out a serious video. Then I get questions on serious videos. What can I say? I'm famous. But podcasts. People love me. You didn't show them your little video you made of the kiff, did you, in the tractor? I didn't. We'll save that for another day. All right. Bye. Peace out, Girl Scouts.